Who was your first crush? I think mine was a boy in school. Um, I just remember he was quite nerdy. He's really nerdy. I think he had glasses. I never talked to him. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh. You can just be like, can you give us a better answer? If yeah, not better answers. Yeah. <laughs> can you be like, mm, try again? At the audition room where all actors meet. <laughs> it was for a theatre, a kids' theatre show. Mm-hmm. It was in the town hall. Yeah. It was a group audition, so there were about 20 of us um, yeah, vying well, for attention. Yeah, obviously we were like sizing each other up. <laughs> <laughs> but that was about eight years ago. I was one of those speech and drama nerds, so I think I did a character piece, age nine, where I was wearing a kimono or something, and it was a really small stage, and I was traumatised from it because I remember I finished the piece and there was nowhere to run off, so I just ran to the corner of the stage and no-one had realised I'd finished. So I just stood there (laughs) waiting for the audience (laughs) to clap or make some sense. I just stood there, they sat there, and I was like, this is the worst. I'm never doing a character piece again. <laughs> but then I sort of started packing up and I think they got the idea. Grace Kwan, Shorty Street. <laughs> That's the um, one. Michelle Anne singing My Heart Will Go On. <laughs> the McDonald's Young yes. Entertainers. Yeah. It was like the height of Titanic. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Celine Dion and an Asian girl. <laughs> Oh, that was um, my episode for Flat 3, so introducing my character. It was the first time I think I felt like I was playing a 3D human being. Because, you know, you walk around the world feeling like you're a human being, but when you play these parts where you just go on and say a few lines in an accent, (laughs) you're just, well, I guess this is how mainstream media sees me, but... Yeah, that was the first time we made anything and put it online. It was, it was great. I wanted to be a teacher because I liked the wands that they had mm-hmm. and the fact that they just pointed at stuff. I was like, it's great. A vet. I was obsessed with having <laughs> pets. <laughs> Back in China, um, I had frogs, I had chicken, I had uh, silkworms. What? I had tadpoles and they were supposed to turn to frogs, but um, I didn't know you were supposed to feed them. And my parents didn't really look after them either. So it's probably good you're not a vet. Yeah. So what happened was the tadpoles started eating each other. And the ones that turned to frogs were the fittest of them all. <laughs> I turned into a very uh, dark game of death. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I was just a boring dog. 